Good evening, viewers. Welcome to Clemena TV. I remain your host, Promise Abuzeme. And today we have amazing guests with us. But just in case you don't know about Clemena TV, Clemena is created with a vision to connect you with the rest of the world. So please don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, because subscribe to www.clevenatv.com. Um, joining us today is um, two amazing guests from NANSA, which is National Association of Nigerian Students, South Africa. Um, today mm -hmm. we're talking about the topic um, NANSA National Student Conference, which will be aired in South Africa on Saturday, 25th. And um, we have with us um, the president of NANSA and also is also the president of NANS Diaspora. And also with him is um, the PRO and event coordinator of NANSA. Thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for so, having um, Mr. Pre <laughs> You're welcome. Um, Mr. President, can you kindly please introduce yourself? Thank you very much, and um, I really appreciate the fact that I was called to this um, show today. My name is Abdul Razak Abubakar. I'm the president of Nigerian Students in Diaspora and the president of NANSA. I'm a student at the University of Johannesburg, studying Master of Financial Engineering. Thank you very much. And um, Mr. Emmanuel, can you please introduce yourself? Thank you. All right. Um, thank you very much once again for having us on the show. and. Thank you very much again for joining us out here, out there. So I wear a couple of hats and I'll be introducing myself as part of the hats that I wear. Um, firstly, I'm a talent pool developer and my aim and purpose is to, you know, impact um, people, students with the relevant knowledge that builds them to become who they are and, you know, leaders of tomorrow in our society. And also, um, also an operations manager with an IT firm in South Africa, and also an operations manager with an academic consultant firm. And what we do is to, you know, create a platform that hosts um, dignitaries and key persons in, in different fields of pro profession to educate and mentor learners in, in career path and career guidance. And I'm also privileged to be the public relations officer of the National Association of Nigerian Students here in South Africa and currently finalizing a degree in psychology and yeah my name is Emmanuel and nice to meet you thank you thank you so much for joining us um thank you Mr President also for introducing yourself um thank you. my my first question is gonna be for Mr President um because I know it can be very challenging and overwhelming to be able to handle students especially coming from this is not your own country this is South Africa whereby um these people are coming from different um, backgrounds, different tribes, different everything. So how has it been so far, you managing the students, you know? Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Promise Ibuzeme. Um, firstly, managing human beings as a whole is not, some, it's not an easy task. It's something very difficult. But uh, for you to manage students, which is much better because they are more enlightened, and uh, it makes your work more flexible and easier for you to, to manage. So it requires kind of a contextual um, understanding uh, of the students' challenges all over the world. So being the president of NAS diaspora and also South Africa makes it more challenging. But um, the good thing is we have, I can do it all by myself. You get it so. That's why we have institutional leaders and we have chapter presidents all over the country that reports to me, that I delegate duties to. And also we've been able to build good relationship with our missions, Nigerian embassies and consulates over the world. So when students have challenges, the first challenge they run through the, to the mission and it kind of make the work much easier for us to manage. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Emmanuel, um, I know you also a student and um, it can be very challenging to also take the role, decide you want to be in a, in a group and you take a role, a position, which you are the PRO, and I know being online every time and also managing your own um, social media um, life and also trying to coordinate events and everything. How do you manage that with your students? Well, um, uh, 
it was at first overwhelming. And so I decided to take a course in administration. So that course, <laughs> I literally had to take a course in administration. So that course has really helped me. I eventually had a daily planner. I also had to, you know, I started to learn how to work with diary so I could, um, uh, like a day before, plan my days and every activity that I'd like to achieve. And one other thing that makes it more interesting is my studies in psychology gives me the, um, the sense of understanding people as part of your personalities. And, you know, when you understand people, you can manage them based on your personalities and temperaments. And with that way, uh, you're able to work with them personally and at the end of the day, achieve the goal that we intend to achieve. So basically, in all, it's just time management and, you know, human resource management. I just love the key way you spoke about time management, which is very important for you to, obviously for you to run something like this, you need to be able to manage your time, which is, that's good. Um, so let's talk about the big topic here, which is the conference. So um, Mr. President, I'll start with you. Tell us what this conference, this NASA conference is all about, please. Basically, the, the NASA National Conference, uh, which was first heard in uh, 20, um, 2018, and it was hosted by the uh, Nigerian Eye Commission in South Africa. The aim of this was to unify Nigerian students and also to bring them closer to their representatives, which is the ambassador, the, the Nigerian Eye Commission and the consulate. So Nigerian students face a lot of challenges. So this is a conference that gives them the platform to express themselves unlimitedly. Now you have one you have one on one with the consul general, you have one on one with the ambassador, you express your challenges fully, then we recommend any students who have performed out, outstandingly in their various academic field. So this is a conference that also gives you opportunities to network among dig dignitaries. You know, we have students who have we have brilliant Nigerian students all over the world. So what happened in this conference is we also recommend them to our dignitaries which which um irrespective of um whichever field we need to fill them in we we'll place them in a uh, guide them in, uh, in their career paths and all. That basically, that's what the conference is all about. But it's basically to unify Nigerian students all over and across the world, South Africa. Oh, thank you so much, um, Mr. Emmanuel. What's your take about the conference? Well, I'm drawing from what the president has said. So I think, not like I think actually, it is going to be a platform. You know, as you had said, to unify students and basically to build people, to build leaders of tomorrow, because, you know, um, our peers and, and students in general uh, need people to look up to, people that will inspire and motivate them. So we create this platform to host dignitaries, the creme de la creme of the societies, persons who they actually see from afar and get motivated. You can tell them as your icons and, you know, mentors. You, you get them in a, in a close shot with them, you get to interact with them, you get to ask them certain questions with regards to how they got to where they are right now and, you know, challenges they face and all that stuff. So the National Student Conference um, covers all of this and we try to encompass all of this, you know, talk about trending topics that would um, assist students in terms of career guidance as the president said. So, yeah, this is a platform that would definitely you know, build an impact to them. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Emmanuel. So, um, you know, there's so many conferences happening and um, I'm sure this is whatever information you would have to offer the students on that conference. Um, it's something most of them can just go get an, um, from a, a special advisor or something, or they can just check online or something. So what makes you think this conference is going to stand out? What's the aim? What's the objective? What are you aiming to achieve? Are you asking me or the yes, PRO? Okay. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> what we aim to achieve from this conference, first, like I said, is to foster a relationship between the Nigerian nations and the Nigerian students. So we we'll build solid network platform from the uh, from this conference, and uh, basically we we'll recommend our students. We we'll fix our students that needs to be fixed in terms of uh, career opportunities, employment opportunities and all. This is a conference that gives them the platform for um, to get um, stuff like that. Also, we have Nigerian students who are vulnerable in terms of uh, who are kicked out of school. 
So in a conference like this, we, we, we've initiated an idea whereby we, 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 raise um, fund, we raise funds for them. So we kind of give both of to Nigerian students who needs, uh, who are vulnerable, just to keep them in check and keep them back at school, you know? So basically there's a lot of benefits that comes with um, um, with this NASA National Conference. We reward outstanding Nigerian students who have performed well in their respective field of studies and also recommend them to, to various um, employers. So basically there's a lot of benefits and that is why this, this conference in particular stands out because it's one of a kind. We've never done this before. This has never been initiated. We've never had a program whereby we, NANSA has to um, raise funds to sponsor vulnerable students, put them back at school. Because one of the ways you can reduce crime in any country is to keep our kids in school. And if you do that, they know what the law says. They know they're not going to do one, two, three. So this is the platform that gives that such opportunity. And I think it's not done anywhere, as far as I'm concerned. No Nigerian community has ever done this. So we are the first. That's why this conference is very important to us. And that's why it stands out. Thank you. Um, my next question goes to um, Mr. Piero. Um, as the PRO of NANSA, what impact do you, have you made so far? Uh, well, okay, you know, as the office, public relations office and directors, director of event, well, there's, there's certain responsibilities that, you know, that office um, takes on. Uh, I'll, I'll feel like, and uh, I think I would say, the impact in terms of being adequately represented, right? So, and, and you know, this also goes with the event so for the person right, by the noise. So, um, we've got a very, we've got a very visionary leader which is president right here and you know like he has stated the benefits of this of this conference it um it gives us a vision to follow you understand and from that vision i i feel like every executive on the team has been able to make an impact and um, for myself i would say we have been able to represent the association adequately in our gatherings in in places where you know, you would never have students being mentioned in places where you never have students being recognized. We've also been able to represent um, students on various platforms, you know, across the nation of South Africa. And I, it, also, it has also built our branding. And, you know, um, and also uh, our socials have become a platform for effective communication where students are able to communicate with the leaders then they're also able to communicate their challenges and issues and all that. So, yeah, I think this few things have been some of the things we've achieved in our short time in the office. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, Mr. President, um, so yeah. I know this is a student conference. So I'm, I'm, my question is, is this open for outsiders or is it just strictly Nigerian students? Or is it open to other um, junior students or so, or just university students? So, firstly, NANSA, which is the National Association of Nigerian Students, is not National Association of Na University Students. So which means it comprises both the university student, the high school student, the primary school student. That's what we cover. That is why it's a national body of all Nigerian students. So everybody is welcome to attend the conference. OK, OK. Um, I don't know if you um it's it's some it's an event that's been opened so it, because it states that like high school students you're welcome just come join us or um parents mothers fathers um outsiders if you're nigerian or you're not nigerian you're invited to the program does it state that or you just join it out there so if you look at the 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 first thing we did if you look at um uh, in advertising this thing was robust communication so if you look at our social media platforms or our handles, you can see that we are inviting everybody. But we specifically stated whether you're in high school, whether you're in primary school, or you're in university, is for all Nigerian students. 
of course, we welcome every other nationals who wants to be part of it, who wants to come and learn new things on how to do, like we welcome everybody to be part of the of, of the platform. And if I want to add to what you, the question you've asked the PR or regarding the achievement of this administration, firstly, this administration have not even stayed up to a year, but I can tell you that we've done a lot in terms of robust communication around the country. The first thing we did when we get into office was to improve in the way we communicate with our students. And now we've been able to go further to make, because we're talking about unification of Nigerian student needs, we have tried to touch base with all universities in South Africa. That is why this program is one of a kind. This is the first time that all Nigerian students across all the provinces will be attending the national conference. And guess what? This was fully paid by the National Association of Nigerian Students. So this is the first time such things have been, is, is, is being done. So in terms of in terms of communication, we've really we've really improved a lot. Now let me also give you this. One of the purpose, one of the things we've been able to achieve was to solidify our relationship with our mission. And how do I prove this? This program is fully sponsored by the Nigerian Consulate and the Nigerian I Commission. They paid for everything. So that's to show you the kind of relationship we've been able to build with our what with our uh, uh, our missions, and not just that. NASA has gone global, not just NASA in South Africa. NASA has produced the first African diaspora president. So now we are now international, not just local within South Africa. With this platform, NASA has been able to go and represent the student at the House of House, um, National House of Assembly. So these are the things we've achieved. NASA had also gone to represent the student at the Ministry of, what, of Foreign Affairs just in a space less than one year. And not just that, for the first time, NASA has built its website under our administration. And for us to talk about a conference like this is because well, this is our achievement. The last conference was done when in 2018. From 2018 until now, you can see the gap. So one of the things our administration decided to do is so the continuation of the NASA National Conference. But this is the only time that Nigerian students will be able to come together under one umbrella. So that's why we, we ensure that we continue with this conference. Thank you. Um, viewers, you've heard um, so much um, Mr. President and uh, Mr. Piero has said about this conference. It's open for everyone, whether you're a Nigerian or you're a South African or you're a Congolese, whatever nationality you belong to. This event is open for you. Either you're in high school or you're in primary school or you're just not sure if you want to enter university or not. Maybe coming to this conference will even make you to clear your mind and know what you want. So um, viewers, we're going to be getting more from both of them, but I just want you to stay tuned and just we'll quickly go for a break. Please stay tuned. Thank you. In the 21st century, technological advancement we all seek opportunities to move and network with the emerging space. Introducing Clevenard Blog and Event Posting. Do you think you have some interesting materials, good content, articles and stories? Then feel free to publish them on Clevenard Blog and Events page, just as team of our writers are doing presently. By blogging on Clevenard's blogs and events, you benefit from our reach and network. There are constant stream of people visiting our social platform and we have figured out just how to distribute our contents. This means you can basically skip the line and get access to a big audience from day one. Furthermore, we can help you get in touch with important people for projects with possibilities of translating your content into other languages and republishing them on Clevenard. This helps preserve and protect your content from getting lost. What's more, you also get to be part of our team with access to our network and lots of exclusives, behind the scenes information. And of course, you get full credit for everything you do, which brings you popularity and make extra income. Sign up now on clevenard.com and start blogging to your advantage. Please see the tutorial video on how to blog or post events on Clevenard blogs and events. For more information, contact info at clevenard.com plus 34-631-279811 Website 
www.clevenard.com. Clevenard, your blogs, your identity. Hi viewers, welcome back to Clevenard TV. Just in case you haven't subscribed, please go subscribe at www.clevenard.com. And we have our amazing guests um, who are from NANSA, which is National Association of Nigerian Students South Africa. They've been talking about the conference, which is happening on the 25th of March, this Saturday. Um, welcome back, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, the next question I have is um, about how the, um, this um, conference is funded by um, the consulate and the high commissioner. But um, apart from that, um, in the past and also in the past and also for the events, how has these two missions been able to help? Uh, thank you very much. Um, we'll say we are one of the blessed associations around the world because, like I said, we've built and we've solidified our relationship with our missions. So I will tell you, I'll be categorically honest with you. They've been very helpful, especially in terms of the diplomatic issues and passport issues Nigerian students were facing. You get us. So students were exempted from a lot of struggles. So there's no Nigerian student who wants to capture or have their passports that have been refused. If you are a student, once you are a Nigerian student studying in South Africa, all those struggles, you don't go through them because of the relationship we have built with our missions. So our missions have been there for us all the way, and they are still there. Even the first conference we had was sponsored by the missions, especially the I Commission. And now the second one also being sponsored by the missions also, and this will be done at the Nigerian consulate. So the Nigerian consulate has done a lot for us. Um, uh, in terms of, I'll give you a, a particular example. We had a case whereby a student was arrested I was about to be deported. Immediately we got that information. We called what? The consulate immediately. They swung into action to intercept whichever deportation that was supposed to be done. So they are very, very responsive and we commend them for that. That's amazing. That's lovely. Um, this question is for the events coordinator. Um, I know like planning events can be stressful and time consuming and also it can be difficult. But um, what have been your challenges, you know, but I'm planning this event. Um, with with regards to challenges, uh, I think that well, it, it's just basically trying to manage the entire process with every other thing we have going on, such as our academic and you know work on the side. So um, you know we're students, so <laughs> I guess. Um, human resources mm -hmm. and capital resources might be a few um, the two factors that you know affect the entire process of uh, uh, organizing the event. Um, so human resources has to do with um, hands on deck. We've got support from the from the entire team. We've got support from um, the entire Nigerian community, but you know it can't be as as um, much as we would need at the moment. And um, yeah, well, it's, that's that's just the two factors that has been a big challenge in um, um, in terms of organizing the event. Thank you so much. So, um, one question I would love to ask is: Will this conference be um, like a yearly event, or is this quarterly, or when next that we can expect another conference? Oh, uh, thank you very much. Um, the conference is a yearly event. Like I said, it was first hosted in 2018 at the High Commission, so the Nigerian Embassy in Pretoria. So it's, it was stated that it would be done on a yearly basis. So now we are continuing, and even next year, and even the administration that will come after us, we continue the process. And this is also what we are trying to initiate in Nas Diaspora, because Nas Diaspora will be having its own first national conference in August, September which will be held in Nigeria. So this is what we're trying to initiate, but this is a process whereby we can unify our students together under one, one umbrella. Thank you. Um, so so um, and my next question is, um, what other association are you bringing to this event? Is it just only just the student um, association or are you bringing other bodies you know, to attend this event? Um, thank you very much. Um, 
although it's a student conference, but we are bringing other professionals also to be part of it. For example, the Nigerian Doctors Forum will be part of South Africa. We've invited them, at, 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 they, they are part of the key keynote speakers, PRO. And uh, we have the, the NICASA, which is the Nigerian Citizens Association, which is the model uh, body of all Nigerian associations in South Africa. We have the uh, 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 Yoruba Association, Ohanese, Indibo. We brought those uh, uh, other associations together. Because this is a platform that brings everybody together. So we want them to experience the beauty of the NASA Student Conference, as they can learn something also and see how the students moderate themselves. Yeah, basically. Interested. Um, so this question is for both of you. But I'll start with Mr. Piero, Mr. Emmanuel. Um, what's what do you think? I don't know if you were part of the 2018 conference, but what do you think will make this conference stand out from the 2018 conference? Well, I, I wasn't a part of it, but obviously I, uh, we, we got a report of the previous conference and you know the um, how the entire thing went. So I think what would make this stand out is um, our program. Our program stands out very uniquely. We'll be having a platform, um, a, a slot for students to speak about how their experiences are as students in South Africa. And, you know, this will give the Nigerian community the opportunity to see uh, the life of a student from their own perspective. Because you know you can never really do understand what they go through, especially if you've not studied here in South Africa, in terms of the immigration issues, in terms of how they actually survive on a day-to-day -day basis. And you know we're also creating a platform, as the, as the president has said, a platform to um, to help and sponsor the vulnerable students. So this 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 platform would you know give the Nigerian community the entire sense of how to assist. Um, the Nigerian student, and you know, um, in, in in South Africa, it's it's kind of um, it's kind of a challenge for Nigerian students to actually get access into the labor market, and and we try to use the Nigerian community to bridge that that gap, where we would have um, dignitaries, would have companies owned by Nigerians, you know, um, take on Nigerian students as interns, and you know, at the end of the day. Um, hopefully employ them, you know, so um, the, this this benefits would make our conference stand out. And in the previous conference, we didn't have this opportunity. It wasn't on the report. So I think um, this is what actually makes us stand out and, you know, actually impact and benefits the student. Thank you. Beautiful. Um, Mr. Razek, um, also, please emphasize, as you were there at the 2018 conference, so I think you should have more information of what makes this to be unique. Thank you very much. Um, it's undeniable that the 2018 conference was a success and it was beautiful. But like the PR have stated, we're going to have a panel section that give the Nigerian students the opportunity to ask questions to their representative, which is one-on-one -on -one with the High Commissioner one-on-one -on -one with the Consul General, that was not done at that time. Like I said, I, I will reiterate again, this is the first time we'll be raising funds for vulnerable Nigerian students. It means now we have taken into account that these are the lapses we had from the previous ones, and we still have students who are vulnerable. It's time for us as National Association of Nigerian Students to come up for their needs. So this actually, we didn't just come up with it, we've consulted with our missions and said, this is what we want to do. We want you to partner with us because we want to keep as many students as possible back at school. Because this is the only way we can eliminate or reduce crime rate in any country. You get the point? So these are the things that make it to stand out. And not just that, the communication. It's crazy on social media. You get it. So just a lot. There's a lot that comes with this. It's a, it's, it's a full package conference. So mm -hmm. the, the PR will say the mouthpiece. I'll just leave it for the guests who are going to come. Like I said, everyone is invited. Come and experience the NASA 2023 National Conference. Okay. Um, interesting. I just wanted to chip in something. So um, you both have been going on about um, 
educational aspects of the event and no one is mentioning about entertainment because this is a student event you know people want to come and be entertained people want to come and have something in their belly you know eat something nice but i'm not hearing that from you guys what's happening no 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 <laughs> you know i uh let me that i was i was leaving that aside <laughs> like i said we have in, even invited amara kichi <laughs> Get it. So what Amara Kitchen does, you can you can only say it after you have tasted what you're talking about. Yeah, that's it's just gonna be. We have Eba, <laughs> we have semolina, egusi, okra, vegetable, fried rice, jollof rice, moi moi, dodo, stew. <laughs> what do you want chop again? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think you you really saw the events now now you've given people more reason like some kids are watching and them. the DJ the DJ is top notch okay. we're gonna have Nigerian students who are gonna perform oh, also that day the music the musical part and so it's a full package event so I urge everyone to come come and dine with us come and enjoy with us come network with us it's gonna be a one of a kind event. Yeah, we also we also give a platform for talent display, you know. So yeah, we we try to support our local talents, um, those who are in art, those who do poetry and and all that. So we got that. we got a slot for the, for that in the program. Oh, amazing! Um, do as you've heard. So there's so many things you don't want to miss this event. You have to be there. So um, Mr. Piero, please emphasize how they can reach out to you guys, just in case no one knows how to get to this event, the dates, the time, and what's your social media handle. Oh, okay. So um, this is happening on the 25th of March, which is on Saturday. We start in at 10 o'clock in the morning, and there'll be a red carpet plot, so you better come early so you can, you know, <laughs> get a red carpet and, you know, get pictures for the gram. And if you want to hit us up on Instagram, uh, our handle is nangs underscore South Africa, nangs underscore South Africa for Instagram. And on, on Facebook, you can just type in National Association of Nigerian Students, South Africa, Nansa, and you get us on Facebook. And yeah, those are our current platforms we're currently really active. And also you can reach us out on our website, www.nansa.co.za. So, um, uh, we are also active on our WhatsApp platforms for, we've got a community, a large community of Nigerian students on the WhatsApp platform. If you need a, if you're Nigerian and you'd like to be added on a WhatsApp platform, you kind of do reach, it, uh, reach out to us via Instagram or, or, or Facebook and we can get your contact and get you registered on the platform. And yeah, do not miss this. Um, it's going to be a very great time. Promises to be very impactful and lively. We might have, um, I wouldn't say the artist, but yeah, you know, <laughs> whatever so it's that six is. Weeks. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> we'll be expecting the video, you know. <laughs> and also, I think I'll also use this medium to thank our sponsors, which is the Nigerian Eye Commission and the Nigerian Consulate. They've done amazingly well, and also the continuous assistance also um, um, the assistant they rent into students, especially the, the aspects of um, trade and investment, which is a section handling education. So we really commend them for a wonderful job they've been doing, and uh, we'll ask them not to relent on what they're doing. And also my amazing team, not forgetting my secretary general, the, act, the, the, the creative guy, and um, all my team in general, you guys have been amazing. And by myself, it's not going to be possible. But with teamwork, it's been possible. And I also thank my colleagues from NAS Diaspora who have supported me morally, financially, and otherwise. So, so thank you guys and continue to support. And if you want to con if you want to sponsor the event, you want to partner with us, feel free to contact us at any time to be part of the event. Thank you. Um, any last word, Mr. Emmanuel? Uh, well, um, I guess the, the entire purpose of this is also to be with uh, Nigeria, we want to see, uh, you know, we are the leaders of tomorrow, the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. So, in our little way, we use this platform to build students across the globe. Um, thankfully, we have a president that represents us internationally. I mean, as a president of diaspora, and then diaspora, 
you know, we try to um, influence people, influence students across the globe to become better versions of themselves so that we can adequately represent our country, Nigeria. Uh, we try to um, change the narrative and, you know, take away the negative stigma. And that starts with us. So, yeah, please be a part of this event and join us. Please do partner and sponsor and share the word, spread the word. And yeah, let it go around. We look forward to meeting you and seeing you there. Thank you very much. Um, thank you so much. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, viewers, we've heard so much. There are so many things to be offered at this event. So I don't know where you need to be, but you have to be at the conference on Saturday so that you can enjoy and have everything loaded. Like it's gonna be a full loaded event and you don't wanna miss out. So please, you have to be there. And um, thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate you guys for coming on Climate TV. Um, viewers, in, in case you haven't subscribed, please go and subscribe at www.clevernet.com. Please subscribe so that you can see more of these interviews. You can watch live. You can also watch after or anytime you want. And also use our blog. You can blog anything you want. You want people to know about your story. You have a story to share. You can use our blog to share your story. Um, see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you.